Welcome to um, Coaching in the Eye of the Storm. And we are going to be talking today about developing a more intuitive approach to executive coaching. But I'd just like to say it's really great to be here, to be in a room full of people who have the ability, the power to change the world. Harvard Business Review, I'm sure you will read it. They are starting to say now that the leadership models of the past are just not going to equip us for the future. Because we're all coaches, so we're all into transformation or we wouldn't be in this business. We're into intentional change, for actually shifting people to a different place, to where they are when they start with you in a coaching contract. Many of us live our lives, and even our coaching lives, completely disconnected from our bodies. I can see a lot of people in the room. Put your hand up if you think you're present. <laughs> if you're present. <laughs> So anybody who didn't put their hand up, who's not present then? <laughs> okay, you're not present. What's that like? <laughs> Are you present when you're coaching? Are you? How do you know if you're present? Is it a different kind of presence to when you're in a room like this? You can actually invite your clients in. Intuitively, they will know that you're with them. Coaching in the eye of the storm is presence-based coaching. We wouldn't have got a quote like this five years ago. It just wasn't out there in terms of leadership. Just stand as you would normally. Just imagine that you're yourself. You're in your shape. Okay, you should know this shape very well. This is you. This is who you are in your everyday life. But just drop inside. Feel. How are you organizing yourself? What are you shaping your body around? What is it that you're doing? Where are your arms, your hands? How does it feel to be you? This is you getting back into your body because this is where change starts to happen because unless you're connected in your body, you won't know if something needs to change for you. Can we have the A's to raise your hand, please? A's, raise your hand. Okay. What I'd like you to do, A's, now, is I'd like you to tell your partner, B, something about yourself. B, I don't want you to talk. I don't want you to be present. <laughs> I had one CEO quite recently, and um, I was called in to coach him, and I was speaking to his team before I went in, and this team said, when he walks into the room, he sucks all the oxygen out of the room. I was thinking, oh, great. <laughs> so um, I went in, and he'd, he was new to his position, and he didn't think he had any leadership issues at all. And, and he really couldn't understand what was going on. And he said, Jane, you're just going to have to tell me what to do. And I said, well, I'd really like to know what you think. And when I said that, he just said, you know, I'm really tired of impersonating myself. sink in to your body as you do so. And then what I'd like you to do is, without any words, I'd like you to connect with your partner. I'm just going to put my hand here, okay? And then I'm just going to sink in. Now I'd just like you to soften into my hand. That's it, okay. Okay. And now when I feel you start to soften into my hand, what I'd like to do is just tell you what it is I stand for. And then your partner, when they really hear you, if you've seen the film Avatar, I'd like them to say, I see you. I haven't seen the film. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can fake it. Yeah, fake it. It's good. Okay. So. I see you. Thank you. And be aware of this, because some of you may do this, but it's a real connection with your partner. And once you both feel that, then you can drop your hand. Try not to push your partner away as well. <laughs> Try and get them to just soften into your hand and then swap around. And I'd like you to tell the other person to tell your partner what you stand for as a coach. Because that's the beginning of energetic connections with people that you've just met. You know, and you can learn to do this as coaches without the hand. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to you know, attack your clients with the hands. But that's the beginning, because that gives you permission to connect when you're first learning about energy. Your coaches, you have an amazing power to take this out into the business community, 
to start the evolution, to start having these conversations with leaders about community, about conscious business, intentional change, working with energy and flow instead of trying to swim upstream through the recession. Thank you very much.